What's up everybody, Tim here at Timmer's EM1 and this is my initial quick little review of this device, the Huawei Mate 9. Now, before I get started, let me get my biggest gripe out, out of the way of this phone right now. And that is the display. Now look, this display is probably the best 1080p, let's put an asterisk on 1080p, the best 1080p display in the market right now. It gets plenty bright, has good color. Now, it doesn't have as much saturation as that AMOLED display. I actually prefer a bit more saturation, but I mean, it's fine. It's fine for general use. It has good viewing angles. You know, like I said, it gets very, very bright during the day, but it's a 1080p panel. If this screen, if this phone had a 1440p display, I can honestly say that I can probably shit on these other phones on this table right now. That's what this phone needs. It's a 2K display, in my humble opinion. Now you might give up a little bit on battery life, but you know what? I'll take that trade off. If this phone had a 10, uh, 1440p display, man, that would have been sick. Especially at 5.9 inches and dual stereo speakers. The speakers on this thing are awesome. That would have been killer just killer anyway enough of that let's get on with the rest of the phone now if you really think about it if that is my biggest gripe about this phone this is probably a good phone right and it is a good phone matter of fact it's an excellent phone let's start out with the build quality aesthetics and ergonomics build quality build quality on this phone is excellent all glass front Look at that screen to body ratio, sick. 5.9 inch display, minimal bezels. This phone does not feel unwieldy, to me at least. It feels smaller than it really is. But at 5.9 inches, you have a lot of screen real estate here. Would have been better Huawei if it was a 2K display, but still, it's a great screen. Minimal bezels, love the look. On the back, you got the metal build. Feels good to the touch. Nice cold metal feel. Now, my one small gripe about the rear of the device is it does have a little bit of plastic here and there let the signals pass through. I guess I can live with that. If this was all metal, that would have been sick. And also, just from an aesthetic standpoint, it feels good to the touch, but just looking at the device, looking at the device right here, it looks a little bland to me, a little meh, right? This is definitely one of those phones that you need a skin for. Throw a skin on here, a carbon fiber skin or something like that, and a clear case, you're good to go. Good to go. Now, the fingerprint scanner. The fingerprint scanner on this phone is fast, it's hella fast. Watch. Put your finger in there, boom, turns on. Do that again. Just tap the scanner, it's almost too fast. I did a video actually of the fingerprint scanners of this phone and the OnePlus 3T right here. I'll link that down below. It's, for, it's a very cool video. But yeah, the fingerprint scanner on this phone is pretty sick. Pretty sick. I love it. Now, I got kind of sidetracked there a little bit. So go back to the build quality and the ergonomics of the phone. The volume buttons. First of all, look at how much, how it's above the side of the phone. You can easily locate it has a nice click, has good button travel, nice feedback. I love the buttons on this phone. Volume rocker, same thing. Has a nice click to it. Love the buttons on this device. Also, on the sides, has that Huawei added a little bit of a brushed aluminum look, as you can see right there. Very, very nice touch. It makes the device have that premium and classy look to it. Very nice. Okay, headphone jack, got a mic on the bottom, got your speaker grills, USB Type-C. This side of the device, you have your SIM right there, your SIM tray, and then here volume buttons. We already talked about that. Very, very nice. Now I kind of wish Huawei didn't put their logo right there. If this was just all blank, and instead put a speaker there, that would have been sick. Maybe on the M10, or the Mate 10. Why were you listening? Hint, hint. Now, let's look at the UI of the phone real quick. 
This is probably my other, nah, kind of sort of gripe about this phone, is that the phone looks, to me, this EMUI skin that Huawei put on, a little bit too much like iOS. I mean, take a look at this. Look at those icons. And it was even worse when I first opened this phone. It didn't have an app, it did not have an app drawer. So it literally looked just like iOS. And I'm, I don't know how I feel about that. Now, is there anything wrong with that? No, not really. I mean, if I'm using an iPhone, it's what I expect. It's an iPhone. But for Android, I don't know about that. So just something to keep in mind. I don't know how I feel about the, the looks of the UI, the EM UI here. But at least the beauty of Android gives you the option, throw a launcher on here, or what do what I did. You have the option of putting the app drawer back. Feels a lot more like stock Android or Android in general. Now, in the app drawer, I do like what Huawei's done here to put the alphabet right here on the right. So if you have a thousand and one apps, you can easily find it right here. All right. Now, let's talk about this button right here. All right. This reminds me of Pi Controls back in the day when I used to flash custom ROMs on my older phone, like my S4, Galaxy S4, and phones like that. I like this. Gives you, instead of just having the buttons down here, you know, you can go back, you can go home, you can go to your recent apps, you can turn off the phone by pressing that lock button right there, and you can clean up some memory. You press that little paint icon there, the paintbrush icon. Sick. Now, let's go to settings and show you how you enable that and all the other cool stuff that Huawei has put down here on this phone. Okay? Now, let's see if I can find Smart Assistance. Go to Smart Assistance and it's Floating Dock. So if you want to enable this little button right here, Floating Dock, make sure that's turned on. Sick. Now, Motion Control. Now, this is pretty cool, right? You have your samsung -y kind of features. Flip to mute, so if you have a phone call, just flip it, mute the call, you know, pick up to reduce the ring volume, raise to ear. Again, another kind of samsung kind of feature, which I'm cool with. You're going to raise to answer or make calls or control the speaker booth headset. Very nice. Now, smart screenshot. I love this feature. Basically, what this is, is they use your knuckles to take a screenshot, right? You knock on the screen right there and just took a screenshot. So let's say you don't want to mess around with the buttons, right? You know, you don't want to do that. Just take your knuckle, knock on the screen, take the screenshot. Now, be careful with that. Don't do it too hard. Don't be cracking your screen now. All right. <laughs> All right. But I think that's, I think that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like that. Now, Let's talk about the camera on this phone. Now I do have to do a bit more testing on the camera on this phone, but so far, so good. Picture quality is good. Now the key for this camera is the lighting. It takes fine daytime shots, but at night, it kind of falls apart at night or during low light. I recommend you know, getting a tripod. If you're gonna use this to take some night shots, get a tripod, your pictures will come out a little bit better. Okay, but I do have to do more testing on the camera on this phone because the camera app has a thousand and one features and that I can make a whole video on that, right? Now, the cool thing about this camera is it has two cameras. Well, actually, yeah, two cameras. One color camera and it has one black and white camera. So if you're taking a picture and you want that and give it that antique look, instead of throwing a black and white filter on there, go ahead and use the actual black and white camera. It'll get you that look you want. Okay. All right. So hit me up in the comments. Let me know if you have a Mate 9 and what you think about it so far. Also, let me know in the comments if you want me to test anything specific about this phone. Hit me up in the comments and tell me what you think about this. This is Tim. I'm out. Peace.